Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. We are going to continue our playthrough here and try to, you know, maybe get what's in this treasure chest here. Can't go any further, so can't get this question mark, but we need food anyway. So that seems to be our, our lowest resource at the moment. So we'll go ahead and go with this. I think beavers are definitely what we want to depart with. Uh, it's kind of a gamble as to which one will end up being humans, but we'll go with this for now. We'll stick with veteran difficulty and just uh, just to clarify, the reason I am going with veteran difficulty and I haven't upgraded to Viceroy, they keep changing stuff still, you know, like they're still uh, building out the mechanics. The most recent change uh, drastically changed how Glade events work. So I want to make sure I'm comfortable uh, with what they're doing before uh, I try to escalate even further. So just just a FYI for that. Um, I definitely want to make sure we have a small farm. Uh, herbalist camp is okay, but, uh, this type of map, I don't know how, well, it could be useful. We could definitely be gathering some stuff. Well, I can't get it anyway. Never mind. Um, I think fabric brick is probably a better choice. And then we'll get some roots. Food will never, I, I can't imagine food will be a problem starting almost ever. Uh, because it's such a core component of the game. Uh, okay, so Royal Archaeologist filled with remains. Let's go ahead and embark. I don't know if it shows us what's in that chest that we embarked on or if we'll see that later on, but it is okay. Um, soil Reclamation. So resource nodes depleted during drizzle spawn fertile soil. Interesting. So does it only spawn one tile of soil where, wherever it was at? Because it's kind of useless, but if it spawns like a whole patch of it, that could be good. Uh, this we already looked at. Our detriments here are trade routes are more expensive during the storm. Uh, stuff burns quicker during the storm. And then once we get to four, favoring is unavailable. Okay. And then pay three wood for every villager or people will leave. Okay, so we want to stay away from four as much as possible, but it's not the end of the world if we get to that point. Uh, let's go ahead and build a road up to here. We want to build a um, small farm pretty much immediately right here. I'm shocked there's farmland directly in our starting territory. To that end, let's take a look at our surroundings. A couple tiny glades here, a couple tiny glades here. I think we'll start over here, uh, if anything, just because I want to trim out the area around the farm. And then we can work our way into a glade. Let's get our next path up and running. Yeah, that, that was a road. Okay, I didn't delete a farm tile or anything. All right, let's get a path going here. Pads are free, so build as many as you want. There is some stone over here. Let's go ahead and put down a stone cutters camp even if we're not immediately using it. Go here. There might be roots over here. I don't, I'm not too lazy to rotate the camera. So let's just start with that. Get this priority number two so that we can start chopping as soon as possible. Archaeologist office I'll worry about later. Right now I'm worried about shelters. Probably want to put them over here, I would think. We can move this over here for now. Let's get the housing up and running over in this region. Two houses is fine for the time being. Let's go ahead and click here and see what else we got. Uh, Trapper's Camp could be good if we have meat on the map. Let's take a quick gander. I didn't remember seeing it. No, I do not see meat anywhere here as an option. So maybe not worth it. Although insects and eggs are always good. Eggs are a thing. Insects are not. So one out of three is not great. I don't think that's worth it. I should have paid a little more attention because now I want to look for a forager camp and see if that's worth it. Uh, also not really worth it. Well, the grain could be. It just depends if we get that um, that cornerstone that yields grain. No, with, with what we know, I think I will start with a smithy. And then we could do three-star flower. 
I'll gamble that. Yes, workshop. That's what I need, baby. Okay, let's get that workshop up and running. That needs to be priority two. So as soon as we're done with the woodcutter's camp, workshop is the next most important thing. Let's go ahead and unpause and get the ball rolling. Okay, get our beaver boys in there. Produce, produce, produce. There is at least some buildings that can be built. And then at some point, I will have to build a, um, what you call it over here? One of these guys. Trading post. That's the word I'm looking for. All right, let's move this over here. I'll wait to build the trading post. Let's look at a cornerstone. I will do reinforced tools. Because extra good is, extra goods is always good. I need some humans if we got any. But I won't know until next season if that is a thing. Pick our orders. We're not going to complete two Glade events. Well, it's 17 minutes. No. Well, maybe. I don't want to risk it. I'll do this to get the Forester's Hut. And then two Glade events with no time limit. And making some packs of building materials. Will give me some peoples. And some villagers. Or some stuff and villagers. Okay. Complete two Dangerous Glade events which I probably will do anyway, will give me a copper production. I'll take that. I, I feel like always getting... I, I like the plus stuff. It just benefits us better, I think. Beaver Resolve is a reasonable thing. I'm pretty confident I can do that. So let's go ahead and keep moving along here. I mean, I mean I'm not going to do it right away, but I will eventually get there. Let's just keep building out this farm field. Uh, I don't want to turn that in until we at least hit uh, impatience of one, which, you know, we will at some point. Not there yet. At Stonecutter Camp, I'm going to move you back over here just so that we can get the trading post up and running. Okay, trading post is there. We can build a road through there. We did get a little, uh, little bit of farm field over here, which is kind of nice. We've already completed two of our things. But the uh, the impatience isn't uh, quite there yet. So I'm just going to keep on waiting, at least for the time being. We're just going to keep trimming the stuff down over here. We're going to need it all cut out anyway. All right. I think I'm going to do the guild first because it'll give me a couple beavers. And I don't, I don't think it will go backwards, but just in case. All right. That gives me a couple beavers. They should start building some of these buildings. And then I can get... I can get two of them in here. I'll wait a minute until they're done building. We definitely want some housing to happen before the storm would be ideal. Okay, leather, that is a reasonable thing. Stone, all right, let's limit everything to, whoa, 50? I think that is fine. We'll limit this. Uh, I'm not going to limit that right now because we don't even have that material. All right, we are churning now. Let's see what else we can get going. None of the stuff is super great. I'm going to re-roll. We're already going to get this, so I don't need to buy that. Skewers could be good. It gives us a way to make ale. We're at least gaining three recipes here. Let's go ahead and slap that down. All right, the trader has been built. I think we need to start chopping more over in this direction. So let's go ahead and focus on getting this cleared out. Then we can get some of these smaller glades. Move over... Move over here for now. Hopping into these small glades would be good as well. We're not quite back to one impatience, but I will definitely toggle that as soon as we reach it. To some extent, I'm surprised at how quick we got got there. Um, let's see. Newly discovered nodes have more charges. This will keep hostility down. Keeping hostility down is probably a good idea. So let's just go with that for now. Humans, I like that. That is good. Let's get our humans into here. The Hilda has arrived. Have we reached one impatience? We have. Let's go ahead and turn that in. Get ourselves a forester's hut. We can get another building. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Carpenter is okay. It's not great. It doesn't really give us much except for luxury goods. This doesn't really give us much aside from... 
biscuits. So I'm probably not going to take any of that stuff. We could work on selling that later. Okay, so it'd be nice to get some of this. These are all really good, but I don't envision actually doing that. Let's just sell as much as we can. We don't really have a food source, so I have to be a little careful about going too ham on, on selling stuff. Let's uh, scale back just a touch here. If I sell all my lumber, then I have nothing. I will take the plus three, and if I can get one more amber, I can get this plus two fabric production. All right, I think that is about as good as I can ask for for a very first trade, but plus three coats, plus two fabric production should yield us some dividends over time. It would be nice to get this plus two flower production. I just don't envision a way to make that happen. I guess I could sell this essence. We're going to get two more. And how much do we need for another hearth? We need two. Okay, so I could sell all of it. All right, this is silly, but maybe we can make this happen. All right, there we go. Flower. I don't. I didn't need another thing of coats if I already have plus three. I mean, it's nice, but I'd rather have. I'd rather sp spread out the bonuses. So now we have coats, fabric, and flower are all getting a pretty major bonus. Um, do I currently have a flower recipe is the question. I don't think so. Yes, I do. I have a three-star flower recipe. Nice. So we will definitely be getting that up and running relatively soon. Let's move these guys back here so they can keep on chopping away and not be in our way. We'll put a beaver in here just so that we can start collecting some stone to make into bricks. I don't think we're ready for danger glade stuff. Turn this stuff off for now. All right, we tapped into another glade. Man, there is a lot of fertile soil around here. What event by making empathy decisions or get water skins? There's always a chance I'm going to need these tablets for a different event. So but I, I just can't pass up the bonuses. I love them so much. All right. Uh, do I want jerky? Well, there's no insects and there's no meat on the map, right? So this doesn't help us that much. But I think we go here and get the pack production because then we could at least trade. And now I'm thinking it would be good to get, if there's a way, it would be really good to get, um, get the ability to grow herbs just in general. I think that would be really beneficial. Forester hut wouldn't hurt either. Be honest it's probably worth doing i'm gonna put it down here just so that we have a way to get that up and running once we get more people we'll put somebody in here we're just gonna do resin or i'm sorry just crystallized dew we don't need resin for that we do finally have a um eggs so we can harvest here go ahead and slap that down food production will be a kind of important thing. We do, we are getting vegetables, so it's not like we're without any food, but I would ultimately like some some better stuff. All right, let's move you up here. Move you up here. We're just going to keep chopping in this direction. Uh, I don't think we need any construction right now, so let's pop him in here. And just keep harvesting some eggs for the time being. We can pop through this glade before the storm. That would be nice. Let me, uh, let me just shave this down so they focus. Okay, we did tap into that glade. That's great. And we do have some herbs. We kind of knew that was potentially coming. We'll, we'll put one of those down, but we're not going to do anything with it yet. I think we'll take, uh, take Egg Boy out here and put him here. Get him ready to plant some crystallized dew. We're going to need that for tools down the road. And even if we don't make tools, it's still a really valuable trade good. At this point, I just need more people right now. Okay. Meat specialization doesn't help us because, again, there's no real meat nodes on the map, at least according to the, according to this. There's no meat nodes on the map. So that doesn't do us any good. Um, I could gain a little resources. This is nice when I have biscuits up and running, but I don't. Currently, and I don't know if I ever will have meaningful biscuits. Uh, you know what? I'll take it just in case I do. 
fine. All right, we get more people. I think we go with the humans. We should probably get another farm up and running, I would think. Let's connect this path here. And then we wanted to build a, a rain mill, right? Let's get the rain mill up. Let's get this path all the way over here. And then maybe we'll build something here or, or here. Can we sneak in a building here? Put a smithy. Yeah, that doesn't ruin anything. We'll put the smithy down there. And that'll, that'll give us our coats and our tools. We'll limit that to 50 of each. So we don't exhaust all of our resources. And we'll just keep chopping away here. Put some humans into here. I think that would be a good idea. Harpy can gather stuff too. Just try to get those nodes taken care of. I want to see if fertile soil actually spawns here. Or like what that looks like. If we happen to do it in a time frame we need it. All right, let's talk to him. Fever Resolve could be good. Crystallized Dew for berries. Well, we have a way to make Crystallized Dew, so I'm not too pressed on this. The Resolve could be nice. Let's see if we can get to 16. We do have that extra fabric production. We've got to remember that. All right, let's do that. I don't think we're going to get to Crystallized Dew here, which is fine. Wish I had a little more amber to reroll. All right, let's move up here. Can I carve through to that? Still on Hostility 1, for now. Uh, you know what else we should do? We should start building out some parks and, and all the various things we're going to need. They are movable, so let's go ahead and just put them down. Four of those, we need a couple of these gardens. That should be enough to carry us to neighborhood, I think. Well, we need more housing as well, but... Alright, we did tap into another thing. Archaeological discovery. So I'm kind of feeling like we need to do the archaeology. Although we could get another plus copper production. We do have a copper node right here. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Five glades. The timing on that's pretty brutal. Because <laughs> we just chopped through this one. This could be a glade. That That's a glade. Glade, glade, glade think we might be able to pull it off. There are no little glades left, aside from these ones that we're talking about over here. So we're just going to have to do a lot of focus chopping and probably build something along the way, uh, like a, uh, a warehouse. All right, we're going we're gonna to go for it, although it's probably a little foolish. Hopefully we can make it through without too much drama. Hostility 2 burns resources quicker. Uh, I need to not mark that. Definitely just need to focus on getting this down. Everything else must wait. No, stop. You're being foolish. Just chop this. Okay, we are through to that glade. Now we are moving here. And we're going to keep on chopping. That'll get us through this glade. And then we'll just keep snaking our way over here. I will build a... um, What you call it? A uh, warehouse in here. Assuming I can fit it. All right, we got to stop chopping there. We got eight minutes left. I'm not overly confident, but we'll see what we can do. There's going to be an unfortunate amount of running back and forth until we get this warehouse built. RP resolve is low, but that's fine. I cannot afford to... I can afford to lose a harpy more than I can afford to take anybody out of production right now. Okay, let's do a warehouse right here and let's prioritize that oh boy what happened with the uh people's moods that's not good all right i cannot fit cannot fit anything over here right now right, we got to trim in both directions so either one is fine this is probably very silly but i want to try to focus on getting this done if i can right, why are we so angry right now are we just seasonal looming darkness? That can't be. Can we burn some extra wood to make people happier? Well, that's pointless to burn that much wood then. All right, so the harpy left. That's fine. Is there anybody available to build this building? There is not. I'm going to have to take somebody out of this because we need to prioritize getting that uh, warehouse built. Okay, back to nature. Uses all our food. That's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. We'll make it work. 
All right, here's where the production gets a little tight. Why is anybody chopping over here at all? Okay, I cannot build. I can go there. Nice. Okay, so let's really focus on getting through here. Warehouse is up. That should mean much, much faster trips into the glades. And then maybe, just maybe we can eke out one more. Okay, you move here. And then we are going to just trim out this last little bit right there. Don't need to trim you out anymore. Okay, we are in that glade. Let's help out over here now by Harpy Builder. We should be able to get this, is the hope. Two minutes left, but there is a warehouse right here. So I'm really hopeful. All right, let's do this while we can. Uh, cookhouse didn't really serve us too well. It gave us better biscuits. It would be good to get this in case I need to rely on the one-star um, ale production. So let's go ahead and try. I'm willing to sell a bunch of fabric. We could sell some of this, sell some of this. We're just going to get more of it. I'm not too worried about that. Bricks, we have a fair amount. Don't have a ton of planks. That's as deep as I'm willing to go, so let's scale this back. All right, let's make that trade. We'll do this. Don't think we need this. I, I'll save the, the amber we have. Let's try a reroll here. See if we can get something a little better. Not really. Packs of provisions, that, that is nice to get a better a better pack recipe. So I think I will do that. I'm going to move over here. And then I think I will build the... I already have the smithy over here. I think I'll build the provisioner here. Then we could probably cram one more thing over here. Uh, do we have the thing for harvesting roots? Forager camp? I don't think we do. Go ahead and place that there just to get that cleared out. As soon as I'm done with this stupid glade thing, I'm really hoping we make it. Should only be like one tree away. There we are. We did it. Turn it in, get the amber, get the global resolve, and get the plus five copper bar production, which is not insignificant. Now we can move back over here and start chopping on the things we need to chop on instead of being over there. I would like to clear out this this kind of this whole area here because we need to build more housing. That's what needs to be focused on now. And now I can feel comfortable taking these guys out during the storm. So I'm not overly worried about that. Um, King Tree is okay. This is probably better uh, just because we'll get a better pickled goods recipe. So getting a granary up and running would be kind of a good thing. Maybe we'll move the forager camp down here and then put the granary over here. That was here, right? Yep. Okay. That can go there. Um. Yeah, we just don't have enough population yet. That's the problem. All right, we definitely have to get some more people. All right, stonecutter camp is capped out, but we can get resources over here. So let's go ahead and harvest that while we can. It's just a single beaver. Move this over here. Keep on chopping away. We really got to get some housing up and running. That needs to be priority. I'm not going to check those orders yet because I don't want to kind of screw myself a little bit. Uh, we can get some humans in here. Let, let's get some humans working away on this stuff. Harvest up these roots. I'll ultimately move the humans somewhere else, but for the time being, this is just a good, just as good a spot as anywhere else. Okay, people are a little salty, but we don't have any harpies, so I don't have to worry too much about that. It would be nice to tap into a real glade, uh, seeing as we're several seasons in at this <laughs> this point. But I really did want to focus on, you know, just getting all those glades discovered for that event. But my focus this next season is definitely going to be getting some of the housing up and going. All right, let's actually start focusing on that right now. Get some beaver houses down there. I think we'll get another one here, and then once they clear that tree, the trees out there, I'll, I'll build the fourth one. Um, what gain three oil? Kind of like this idea, because the herbs will just generate uh, packs. All right, let's uh, let's stop cutting that out. I guess we'll take the beavers. We'll go with some more beaver housing over here. 
that should handle most of the beaver housing needs. Now, I would like to get some fewer production up and running if possible. This is actually a pretty good recipe here, even though it's only one star. Um, because we have that plus five copper bar bonus. So I think we'll do mushrooms here because we have no other meat, right? And then we'll focus on vegetables, and that should make skewers. We're going to do 30 there. Let's slap a harpy in here. Uh, probably should do ale as well. Oh, uh, I don't have any containers. Well, we'll get flour going here anyway. We'll cap that at, like, 80. And then maybe we can get some tools up and running here. I want to leave somebody out so they can... Well, maybe it won't be him. Maybe it will be whoever's collecting eggs over here. Oh, it did spawn a little fertile soil. Not that much, but it did spawn some. Uh, let's go ahead and take... Uh, this guy that's working on stone out just so we can get this production completed and then this could also be good i don't really care about the barrels but it would be good to get more fabric kept that at 50 and then kept this at 50 as well packs of crops i'm not ready f well i'll do 10 we'll use it for sale at some point but i'm not going to put anybody in there at the moment I have a better flower recipe, so I don't need that. This could be good for barrels. Maybe we'll do 20 of those, and then we'll cap this at 50. Be good to get somebody in here as well. Just focus on chopping this little bit out here, and then we'll be ready. It's a little too late in the season to pop into another glade, um, just because if there's a glade event, we won't be able to complete it by the time the next storm starts. It's probably not worth it. Plus, I really need to get the housing situation under control. So we'll just work on that for now. And then we'll focus on the Glade stuff next. We are about to pop into the clearance, which is perfectly fine. Uh, let's actually move over in this area. Just want to clear out a little more space. I'm not going to let them chop in the Glade. That is checked to avoid the Glade. So they should trim everything except for the glade areas out right now. Let's talk to Vliss and see what we got. Plus planks, absolutely. Uh, I'll take plus every time we uh, open a glade. That could be good. All right, I will sell this. I'll sell most of this, but not all of it. You know what? I might need some of this for a glade event, so I'm not going to sell that. I will sell some of this. We'll get more. I'm not overly pressed on that. Filling some bricks wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, can we get to 20? If we can get to 20, I'll be happy. Sell fabric. Uh, we'll get more. Yeah, I don't want to sell any more of that. A little bit of bricks. That should be fine. We got to 20. Let's do scrolls production and then leave it at that. Just leave a little cash on hand if we need it for something. Uh, we could sell that. Right, I want to start building up the trade routes. I need to do trade routes anyway for this. Okay, we do have that up and running. I would really like to get more bodies so I could put people in here. Right now we are waiting on planks, but we did just get that killer plank bonus. So that is a one-to-one -one ratio. That should be pretty significant going forward. All right, it would be great. Come on, guys. Oh, I can actually reach that. Get another crystallized dew going. All right, we did get another house. Be nice to make this harpy a little happier if we could. I don't see it happening at the moment, but uh, coat production would be a step in the right direction, I think. Do they like coats? Not really. Uh, I guess not. I guess that doesn't really help them too much. I guess we'll have some unhappy harpies going into the storm, but that's all right because we can actually pull people out of the lumber mill now. We couldn't really do that before. All right, we did get some meat out of here, so I guess. Meat production is a thing that could still happen. Okay, we got some unhappy people. Let's pull out. How many can we pull out? I guess we'll pull five out. All right, after the storm, we'll pop into a glade, start getting into these bigger glades. I think we're stabilizing a little bit. Let's just try to survive, make it through this. We are getting some housing up and running. All right, we could turn that off. Close enough to the next uh, next thing. Right, let's get the beavers back in here. Just chop through where we can. Uh, I will definitely do this 
and get some free barrels because that will allow us to start making ale. Limit that to 60, but that will make people happier. And then once the newcomers arrive, we will be in pretty good shape. I think we can get rid of... I'm actually going to get rid of these houses because they're garbage houses. And I think we need better. If that will cover all of our humans. It would be good to get a harpy house in here. We definitely need more beaver housing though. So let's get that down. We need so many planks for all of this stuff. But that will be okay. It'll be fine. All, right, all that housing should be everything we need. Okay, we did pop into the glade. We have... Wow. Okay. Light rot cauldron. It's a lot of fertile soil on this map. Okay, so cleanse would give us cash. I think we're going to have to do tear down. And I need another person to be available for that. So let's get a beaver out of there. And then hopefully we'll get newcomers fairly quickly. Here we are. I will take the two and two. That allows us to put a beaver into here. And then hopefully we can get um, maybe a farm up and running over here. I think that's really all we can do. Warehouse is relatively close, so let's go ahead and get that built. We got fertile soil popping up in some pretty strange spots uh, as a result of that. As a result of the soil reclamation thing. It's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and pop somebody in here. Keep the, uh, the barrels and the packs of provisions going. Get somebody in here. Eh, we'll do a beaver for now. Just keep these packs coming along. Being low on food is not too surprising. I do not have a way to make packs of provisions yet on a consistent basis. So we're going to have to go ahead and just build a bunch of small farms and hope we can build out from there. Some of them will have to be vegetable. Okay, that is done. Small herbalist camp's got nothing nearby. I think we should focus on getting this cleared out. All right, so the ancient has arrived. Let's go ahead and sell some of the stuff. We could definitely sell that. Keep those trade routes moving. All right, what else do we want here? We can only spend the amber we have. We don't have enough resources to do anything else with it. None of the stuff is that great. I don't really want more copper ore, I don't think. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we, we have some housing being produced. Probably should increase the priority of this harpy house. We don't have any material for it right now, but... Just so they're in a better mood when... Uh, when the storm comes along. It's not that far away. And they're always the, the angriest of the bunch. At least until we have all our, our ducks in a row with resources. Right, humans are mostly squared away. We have one more house we need to build for them. Uh, what else can we... Is there any gatherable stuff? Not really. There's some eggs over there. But it doesn't really do us much good. We'll take the human out for now. And that's somebody that's uh, available. Be nice to get these buildings up and running so that we can get food production scaled. Uh, more expensive in the storm to do trade routes, so I think I want to wait on that. This is the blight rot that's eating away. So I probably will have to build a blight rot facility. Get a couple ancient tombstones up and running as well. That would be good. Even though we don't, uh, we don't really have a service building at this point, but we will. All right, we made it through the storm. Go ahead and sell some of the stuff. Uh, you know, I actually think tanning racks would be good. I think we are getting leather from some of the stuff we're harvesting. I thought we were anyway. Maybe we're not. I have no idea. All right, let's go ahead and chop through here and pop into another major glade. And that will help us complete another thing. Uh, you know what? We should probably pick our last orders, huh? So this would guarantee, no, no, we need a monastery to do this. So uh, barrel production, I think, is reasonable. This is nice because of the plus leather and plus coats, but I think I'll take this. We're already making packs of crops anyway. Mm, sell ancient tablet and sell fabric. I might try to do that. Do I have ancient tablets is the question. I don't think I do. Actually, I'm pretty positive I don't. There's nothing that would, would have given it to me. So that doesn't really work for me necessarily, unfortunately. The pickled goods 
Well, it's pickle goods per minute. It's not terrible, but it's just not great. We're not going to have 18 harpies. God, I hope not. Uh, all right, let's go with this, even though I don't think we have luxury goods at the moment. And then packs of provisions would give us stuff, including a temple, which could be good. But that's six minutes. I don't see that happening in a six minute time frame. How often are these being produced? Three every 30 seconds? Yeah, that's not. I, I just don't see that happening. If I had more already banked, maybe, but I don't. So it, that's just not. Just not. <sighs> It's not going to happen, which is really unfortunate. So we'll go with this one, which is fine. But now we're really going to need to focus on doing a lot of packs of stuff, right? Because we need packs of crops. We need packs of trade goods. So we do that at the smithy. I think flour is probably the good resource for that because we're going to be making so much of it. Um, limit that to 50. I don't think we have packs of luxury goods. We can't do that right now. Packs of crops we're already churning out. I don't want to limit it to 10. I want 25, I think, is the limit that I need. Don't need... Oh, I do need building materials. So I need 25 building materials. I, we'll go with fabric just because... Well, no, we... Planks are fine. Planks or fabric. Because we are... Um, we, we do have that plus 5 plank... Or plus 3 plank production. We also have plus 2 fabric production, so... Should be okay. Definitely need to start addressing some of this. All right. Hidden Trader C Cemetery. 20 Amber. Gives me some reputation. Or it can use Coal and 40 Hostility. It doesn't say it goes away afterward. Could have been a way to get Ancient Tablets, though. Oh, well. Is what it is. We'll just go with that for now. All right, let's get our humans in here so that they can start producing in a meaningful way. And then we'll get some more people here. And then we really need to focus on getting more housing because it's getting crazy. More human housing would be good. Just be a little proactive about building some of this stuff up if we can. Put a little path there. Should be all hunky-dory. Oh, this is built up too. Let's get some humans in there. And then we can go ahead and get uh, some farm fields. Looks like that'll reach. All right, let's go ahead and turn this in. Gives us some water skin production bonus. Gets us some extra amber. Herb garden is nice because we can then make herbs. I'm sure we're going to get plenty, plenty of other... Yeah, we have stuff right here. All right, are we going to do anything with this clan hall? I don't really know. Brawling and religion. I'm not confident that's going to be a thing we do. But, uh, probably doesn't hurt. There are eggs here. Yeah, I think I might want to destroy this. But I don't have the required materials. It looks like I'm not destroying anything right now. Put a couple people in here. Keep harvesting this node. Uh, we don't have any stone at the moment. And I don't have any on the horizon either. So, I guess we'll just keep, uh, oh, there's some right here. Look at that. Never mind. We will move over here and keep chopping this out maybe we can build a warehouse right here and that'll be ready to harvest this stuff when we get the opportunity maybe we can build an herb garden here it'll fit and then it should still get everything as far as node exposure all right we're gonna go ahead and put we gotta leave somebody out uh we need one more of this so let's do that even though packs of crops are needed Oh, wait, no, we already did that. Never mind. We didn't need that at all. Great. Okay. Well, at least we have food production happening. Some more housing being produced is always a good thing. All right, forager camp's got nothing nearby. Let's go ahead and move you to somewhere relevant. I don't think there necessarily is, but we'll we'll go here. And I'll, well, we'll go here for now, get the roots, and then I'll move you closer over here. You can keep harvesting away that stuff. Uh, dangerous glade events. Let's go ahead and turn that in. We need water, but we are going to have to build a couple things here. All right, let's build one of these. Let's build a blight post. Where can we cram that? Can we move these parks somewhere over here. Maybe we could sneak in a blight post over in this direction. 
even though we have nobody in there at the moment. Connect that, and then I think the last thing we need is a place for the water, the rain collector. Let's go ahead and put that down so we can build all that stuff. All right, there we go. Nice local warehouse. Still have some people building, which is great. I need a better spot to get planks. Like, I need a lot more planks. Well, my wish is granted, apparently. Guess we can do that for scrolls. We'll probably need it at some point, I imagine. Now let's go ahead and try to get some amber. I think we could sell at least one ancient tablet. Just think. Well, no. Did we get all the orders we're going to have? We did. So we're not going to get any more need for ancient tablets. So let's go ahead and put that all in there. This packs of provisions is good for trading, but I don't actually need them at the moment. Hmm. Definitely sell some of this. We're not. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just sell all this stuff. Okay, that is perfect. We have amber to spare when we need it. And let's just focus on getting as many of these packs done as possible. Sell a part. It's fine. What is the next building we can make? Hmm. That is a water skin recipe. Apothecary would give me these things and it uses clearance water. And we're going to need to be using clearance water. So let's go ahead and put that down. Of course, we need to collect clearance water first. And none of this looks like clearance water. Our, our moods are getting better. We're still not done building everything we need to build, but it is improving. A uh, small herbalist camp nearby. I guess we'll just chip away at that. Build some farm fields there. Sell some tools there. Does it make sense to use our tools to send this to the Citadel? Probably. I, I just need to keep this reputation bumping along at this point. We're going to need to chop through another glade here shortly. So let's move this. Keep working on our packs of goods. What we're probably going to need the most of. All right, they're back to being happy. Is great let's go ahead and sell this sell some more barrels that's fine okay i guess we'll do more tanning racks i'm assuming we're getting leather somewhere probably pretty stupid of me to do that if we're uh if we're not actually getting leather from anywhere i feel like we gotta be right i thought we had leather somewhere maybe we didn't all right we're really close to people being happy more beavers more humans that means more housing we're gonna need Kind of out of buildable space here, so we're going to have to start building a new um, a new hearth over here, which is fine and dandy. Get that up and running. Uh, we should chop through this glade so that we can handle the whatever the glade event is going to be. I think planks is our current bottleneck. Even with all the plus plank stuff, we're still... We have another spot to make fabric, so I'm not too too pressed on that. Let's focus on making planks in this place. All right, so we have popped into another node, or another glade, I should say. Sea marrow, root deposits. We could use some coal, and that will be fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of the corrupted caravan. That'll also move this along in the, the right direction. Can we please just get some planks done? That's our current bottleneck. It's just plank production needs to happen. Okay, we do have some meaningful plank production going on now, which means that some of these buildings should really start getting kicked out somewhat quick. I don't really want to sell the the bricks. Okay, we are progressing on the packs of trade goods, packs of crops. Things are going okay. I really need to get some of this stuff built, though. Food's a little bit of a headache. There we go. Human housing is somewhat up and running. Get some humans in here started on uh root and herb production i'll just let it do both i think that's fine for now all right blade post is being built which means the purging can begin relatively soon limit this to like 20 i don't think we need too much of that i never did put well i did i guess i did put two people in here which is enough for now ale production hmm yeah, we could do that. I mean, realistically, we could buy all of this stuff. We have plenty of wood. I don't want to get too greedy, but we could definitely do this. I'm nervous to sell any packs of anything just because I'm going to need it. 
All right, doesn't make sense for me to do... Put another human in here. Let's just get these, these packs churning out as much as we can. Uh, pickled goods is equally as important, I think. Fabric can take a little bit of a back burner. I actually don't think we have all the resources we need for that. So let's get let's get one of these built over here so we can start gathering some reed fiber, which is also going to be needed. This should be just about done burning away, I would hope. Uh, if we could sell more stuff, that would be good. Okay, what else can we sell? Packs of building materials are done. So that should help with the plank production situation. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Packs of crops, packs of crops, trade goods. All right, at this point, I think we just need to make clearance water. So let's go ahead and sell some of this. I don't want to sell all of it. I definitely want to make sure we still have some wood available. We could sell some packs of provisions because we're not actually using all of it. All right, I might scale back a little on the grain just in case. I, I'm, I'm making a ton of it, so... It's probably fine, but just in case. Let's just take all the amber we can take. I think that's fine. Can we buy some fabric? Nah, we got good enough fabric production. I think we'll be okay. All right, close that. Harpies are getting angry. What's going on with them? No, I don't want to do that. All right, let's just take, um, take our boys out. That's not enough. It's not enough. Well, if it's not enough, then why bother? Put them back in. Keep chopping away. I think we're going to pop into another glade momentarily. Let's move over here and be positioned to move into this glade next. We're not quite hitting the happiness thresholds that we need to hit. Firekeeper missing. What? No? A beaver smith left and a beaver firekeeper left. And a harpy trapper left. Okay. So we lost two beavers and a harpy. Right, I'm going to choose that because we are gaining favor with other settlements by trading. I think we could definitely afford to buy more. Okay, so let's get... Um, I think flour is producing oil, right? So we should be okay there. Do we have any big buildings we can actually build yet? Tavern would be great. Try to get a tavern in here somewhere. I feel like maybe we'll move the archaeologist office somewhere else. And then put the tavern right here. I think we're churning out a decent amount of ale. Yes. Well, we should be anyway. Uh, I don't have any people available to, to work on it at the moment. But ale production is something that I think is happening. Yeah, we do have ale. So it's not like we're without it. All right, this should be pretty high priority in getting done. So should this. So we, we are completely out of that material. All right, we have a decent amount of stone. Let's take people out so that we can get some building done. Chop through to this glade. Might be the last glade we, we chop through. We really need to get some of these packs done. Actually, it would be great to get this done because this gives plus pack production. All right, let's get some people in here. All right, what do we got here? We got water. Well, let's get... Apparently beavers like this. Drizzle water. Okay, so let's do drizzle water. And we're going to want to focus on getting that done. I don't think we need any more people. Maybe we do. I'm worried about the housing and the happiness. All right, let, let, let's go ahead and get more people. I take it all back. All right, let's put a beaver in here. We might be able to get some happiness up and running here. Let's just build a path around this stuff. Get some human housing built. Didn't mean to do that. And some beaver housing. Both of those things definitely need to happen. Uh, let's rotate before that gets built. And then we should be able to um, maybe move some stuff over into here. But getting this tavern done would also be fantastic. Okay, this is packs of crops. I do want to wait for this packs of trade goods and get this advanced trading done first. If possible. So who's building packs of trade goods? That's got to be... Look at our order, our recipe book. Packs of trade goods is coming from the smithy. Okay, let's get another beaver in there just so we are sure we have the resources to do that. So we are kind of running a little bit shy on people to do the work. How is this going? Apparently we have not gotten enough drizzle water, which is less than ideal because that means this is going to blow up and nuke us 
apparently. Okay, there we go. That is done. That gives plus one pack yields, which means everything else should be getting better. Uh, and then who takes clearance water? One of these buildings took clearance water. All right, let's put somebody in here, start making some incense. Let's cap that at 50. Biscuits will cap at 50 as well. I think we necessarily need cosmetics, right? Leave a human out so we got some building going on still. We should have housing pretty much for everyone after this last house gets built. So I don't know why people are still salty, but biscuit production should help. I got to imagine. Oh, let's do an advanced rain collector because then we can just get better rain collection. I guess we'll put that here. Okay, so everybody's got housing. Packs of crops should be done relatively quickly given the plus pack bonus we have now. Fabric should once again be getting churned out, which means coats should be pretty soon after. All right, tavern is here, which means people should be able to... I'm going to take... No, I don't want to take the guy out of here. Um, uh, let's limit this to 50 as well. I feel like we're wasting a bunch of resources there. So we can put some humans in here. That should make mood a little bit better. I think I'm pretty much done popping into new glades. At this point, I just want to progress as much as possible. Make people as happy as possible. We should make it through this before she flips out. But let's see what happens. I turn that in. That gave us four more villagers, which probably isn't the best. Now we're going to have some, some housing concerns, I imagine. Uh, let's get the harpy housing up and running over here. And actually, let's build um, build a couple parks over here and build a couple gardens because that will bump us to at least this. And that gives plus two global resolve. Oh, we did lose a harpy builder. Hey, everybody's happy. Perfect. So we're churning along here. Let's see what else we can do here. Pickle jars, nice. Less rest. More resin. I mean, I don't really need any of it, but that's cool. Uh, let's buy some fabric just so we get a little bit ahead on the game there. All right, I think we should be in pretty good shape at this point. And right, I don't want any more people. All right, let's not let's not get any more people. Let's just power buildings with clearance water. That should be good enough. Right, let's use up use up some water here if we can. Uh, why are we low on fuel? I think we're going to have to move over here just so we're really close to a, uh, a warehouse to put all the lumber we're gathering. All right, well, the mood is, like, out of control high now, which is fantastic. Because that means everybody should be moving into the right direction, and we should be finishing up the map pretty quickly. Also, this impatience is going down as a result of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just sell everything that I can. And then maybe we'll get one of these two done. I doubt it. I think we'll more than likely just complete it by everybody being happy. So this made a huge difference, the tavern being here. Because that fulfilled leisure, which really bumped, you know, plus eight here. So that is fantastic. Back to world map. It, you know, maybe drug on a little bit longer than I anticipated, but um, certainly wasn't terrible. Go ahead and open this and get our artifacts out of there. Kind of stinks we weren't able to reach that and oh we can click on it anyway apparently we didn't need to actually be in range of that that's good to know i feel like i already knew that but forgot it and now i know it again so thank you for watching if you let's go ahead and restart the cycle here and this should uh yield some decent stuff for us all right so next time around we will start on a fresh cycle Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future, and we will catch you in the next video.